and welcome to my July favourites video. There are so many things I want to tell you about so I'm going to get stuck in straight away. The first thing that I have been loving during this month, I've been doing some cooking with Fleur. Some of you may have seen this video but we actually cooked up a couple of brunch ideas over on Sainsbury's food channel. Mike and Fleur actually have their own channel cooking so I'm going to link this below in case you guys haven't seen it. Make sure you go and watch those videos and subscribe to that Sainsbury's channel because Mike and Fleur cook so many nice things and I had so much fun cooking that brunch. I absolutely loved it. So if you want some recipe ideas, they are over there. Um, moving on to body, I'm gonna start with body. First of all, a Sally Hansen airbrush legs. This is something that Fleur recommended to me while we were out in America. If you want to go out and you can't bother to fake tan and you just want your legs to look flawless and you don't want to wear tights, this is amazing. I'm going to put a before and after photo so you can see what my legs look like before. You spray it on, you rub it in, do it in the shower because it's messy and I got it all over myself the first time. So do it in the shower then you just rub it in and it's beautiful and it's so quick to do. Next on to more body. Ghost new perfume Eclipse. I have been so excited about telling you about this. I love their first one. Um, this is beautiful. It's very fruity, um, apple-y, lemon, all those types of things, but I don't like things too fruity. And this has kind of got amber and peach, and I think it's musk as well. Um, I don't usually like musk, but this is beautiful. So that kind of makes it a little bit more sophisticated. And it stays on me a long time, which is a big thumbs up. Next on to let's do hair. Um, this is a product that I have been using for the past couple of months. I This is my Head and Shoulders Thick and Strong Treatment, well it's Thick and Strong Collection Extra Thickening Treatment. I had no idea that Head and Shoulders did anything else except anti-dandruff. So when I found this, I loved it. Here is a video of me blow drying my hair after, so you can see how thick my hair actually goes. And this is so reasonably priced compared to other stuff that is out there on the market. I loved it. I definitely noticed a difference in the thickness of my hair and the volume you get is just amazing. I cannot recommend that highly enough. On to face and, oh my goodness, my quarterly beauty elixir. Where would I be in life? This has probably been my yearly favourite actually. Um, and you can see I'm already going through it quite healthily. Um, spray this on, it's beautiful. You can use it as a face spray or a toner. It's made from extracts of grape, so it's very soft. It's for all skin types. It just leaves your skin feeling amazing. I cannot describe how good this is. Everybody is raving about it. I didn't understand why until I bought it. And now I am fast addicted to it. It's amazing. If I had no more skincare apart from that, I think I'd be quite happy, it's just beautiful. Um, onto an eye cream, oh, again, recommendation from Fleur. Um, this is First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy. This is just incredible. It's probably my favorite eye cream ever. Um, it claims to brighten, depuff, and smooth, and I'm always skeptical about brightening things because they never really brighten. I can't really see the difference. This, however, does. It has a highlighter in it. What I love about this, first of all, is the applicator. So you squeeze it on, and then it has a beautiful kind of silver uh, applicator here that feels so cooling when you put it on, you rub it in, and it doesn't mean you put your finger in it. And the highlighter means that it just looks, it looks like you've got concealer under your eye as well. So some days I don't even need to wear concealer when I'm wearing this. It's the first um, first day beauty thing I've tried, and just massive thanks to Fleur for recommending that because I am hooked. On to makeup now, and this is something I bought out in America and I've been wearing every single day. I did a haul with this, but I wanted to talk about it because it's probably one of my favourite things I got. It's the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. It is just amazing. This is gives you very, very dramatic black um, eyelashes. They lengthen, it thickens, and I don't really know what more to say about this apart from this is probably going to be my favourite mascara of the year. It doesn't smudge. I do get a tiny little bit below my eyes sometimes, but that happens to me anyway because I have ridiculously sweaty eyelids. It's gross. Um, but in terms of look and dramatic look, it's amazing. And I love the teeth on it as well. It allows you to build it up. Onto a couple of blushes. The first one, this is incredible. I've been wearing this every single day this month. I have it on today. This is my Becca um, Mineral Blush in Flower Child. 
first of all the colour is just beautiful. I didn't have a blusher really this colour that was kind of a pink with a tiny little bit of sparkle in and I just am so excited to try more Becca stuff. I tried their primer once and loved it so now I've tried their blusher and I am just loving it so much and it's such a pretty colour. Um, now I've also picked out a drugstore one in case you are saving the pennies this month and this is a bourgeois cream blush number two. Again it's a very summery colour, beautiful peach. I'm not really a fan of cream blushes and so I wanted to talk about this because I love this one so much because it turns from a cream to a powder and if you have combination skin like me and greasier blushes like slip off this is a really really good one to try. Very easy to put on, you dab it on, it's really easy to work with and you literally just bung it in your handbag. It's so small and you don't need to carry a brush around with you um, so I love that. And onto eyes, um, I'm wearing the Smashbox Waterproof Shadow Liner in Black Gold. This is waterproof, you get the gold bit on one end and then you get the smudger on the other if you want to blend it in. Um, I don't really use that, I just use the gold bit. Um, and it is just amazing because it does not budge at all, which is great for my eyelids. Um, it's beautiful because I don't want to wear heavy black all the time in the summer, so it gives me a nice shimmer. It just glides on, it's so easy to put on. I just, I think that's probably my favourite coloured liner that I've got, it's so pretty. And last but not least, oh no I have one more thing, but last, last second to last, a concealer that again I'm wearing today is my Hourglass Concealer in uh, Fair. It's called Hidden, but it's... Fair, the colour. This again I picked up in America but you can get it in the UK. This is a very thick concealer that stays on for a long time. If you want a heavier coverage and you want it to slightly highlight to get the lighter one and it does not slide on this will give me eight hours of concealerage if that's a word um, and I love it. It is obviously not drugstore so you're going to pay a little bit more but if you have silly skin like mine that doesn't behave all the time it is a fantastic concealer and hits up there with Laura Mercier and the other concealer concealers that I love and then my last but not least I almost forgot about this this is so pretty look at this it's a little bird cage and I got this from Shell's boutique um, a boutique I've talked about that is actually local to me but you can buy it online and I'm obsessed with her stuff she does the cutest candles and I actually picked this up um, because I wanted to have this I've been having it in my background a couple of times and it's so cute it's a little bird cage and you can put the candle in and then you can burn it at night time or whatever I just thought this is absolutely adorable and it's in rose gold which is my favourite colour at the moment so I love that very much so let me know in the comments below what are your July favourites I love you all very much and I'll see you all in my next video bye